The mixing console can go by many different names. We sometimes call it a mixer or a desk or a soundboard. I usually just say console myself, but what we're talking about is the control center for the sound during a show. This is where we shape how the audience hears the performers and how the performers hear themselves. In this video, we talk about the concept of a signal chain, which is the path for an audio signal. Then we discuss how consoles have an input section, which contains multiple channel strips, and an output section, which sends audio to the rest of the system. To understand the console, we need to cover a critical concept in audio, the signal chain. This is the path an audio signal follows, and it's important to know that every part of the signal chain affects the sound. As the signal goes through the console, it first goes through the different sections of the channel strip in order, then gets routed to the outputs, which feed both monitors and the main speaker system. And this signal chain is what we are talking through during this course. So we pretty much do think of consoles in two sections, inputs and outputs. The input section is made up of channel strips, each of which is the control for an input source, like a microphone or DI. Now we talk through the signal chain of the channel strip in the next couple of videos, but this is where we boost and process the signal before sending it to outputs. One of the outputs we have are aux sends, which are found right on the channel strip. These pick off the signal and feed things like monitors or effects. Or the channel can be assigned to groups or directly to the main left-right mix, which can then feed the main speaker system, and we talk through this more later. Now with analog consoles, the inputs and outputs use separate physical faders with the inputs in one section and the outputs in another section. But with digital consoles, the faders can be switched back and forth. For example, right now, these faders are showing the inputs of the console, but if I switch to, to another fader bank, these faders are now showing the outputs. And it is one of the tricky things about digital consoles, keeping track of what the faders are showing at any given time. Now, ultimately with a mixing console, we are taking multiple inputs from stage, using tools like EQ and compressors to shape the tone and dynamics, and then mixing them together and sending them to outputs. And if we can get a balanced mix between these input sources, quite often with the vocals a little bit on top, we're going to be in great shape for a show. In this video, we first talked about the signal chain, and then we discussed how consoles have both input and output sections.